everybody. Happy Friday. To go make another cup of coffee. Um, I just finished doing a live with my, um, okay. I just finished doing a live on my Instagram. Um, I'll, I'll show you what all this is about. And I used the Urban Decay Wild West palette for the first time. So that is what I am sporting on my eyeballs today. Um, it's just my, I just feel like my house looks like it threw up right now, but I wanted to see what this looked like, get it out, and then um, a little bit later I'll switch these out after I wash everything. But we went ahead because this thing has got issues. So I have to ask Bob if he wants to toss it or whatever, but on Sunday it took an hour almost to brew a pot of coffee, and we have done the vinegar thing and all of that. So anyway... <laughs> Um, and we really do like to have the option of a pot of coffee. So this encompasses both this and this in one machine. It's called a Dual Plus, I think. And it was on sale on Bed Bath & Beyond for um, from $2.29 down to $1.99. And then I have that membership thing that automatically renews every year that I, I don't know how much it is. Maybe $40 a year or something like that which basically just paid for itself, but uh, maybe it's $30. At, at any rate, it gives me 20% off of my order all the time, but you can get 20% off of one item almost all the time. So either way, my point being, we got this for $159.99 or whatever plus tax, um, which is, I can, I can deal with that a lot more than I could have dealt with $230. So I'm really excited about it. Happy it's here. I have to read the instructions and whatnot first, of course. But so um, there you go. That's my big, big, um, exciting announcement for the morning. I need one last sip of that and then brew myself a new one. So the other funny thing I have to share with you guys. So here's the story. Story time with Kristen. Um, side note, I got up at 3.45 this morning. It's, seven, or it's, it's just about 7 o'clock right now because I couldn't sleep anymore. I was worried about stuff with work, so I got up, handled a bunch of emails, showered, and then when my hair was wet, I, diffu I dried it with a diffuser, threw a couple curls in it, and it just seems to have gotten frizzy, so it's fine. Um, before I tell you the story, I think I showed you guys this. Look at how, not, how it's growing. I still don't know what it is. Oh, my battery's going to die. I'll come back and tell you about the story and the thing that I got from Amazon later. But right now i got to charge this up. Good morning, everybody. I just was searching down my water. I am trying to fight a UTI that's trying to happen. So I'm drinking all the water. <laughs> um, happy Saturday morning. It is 10.30. And I have done not very much this morning at all. Um, I did it, edit, finish editing finish editing a vlog and I got that up. We had our first pot of coffee in the Keurig, the new Keurig, and it was delightful. Um, Bob went and got donuts. So he had a hankering for a donut. So we had a donut. We had a very lazy morning, um, which I needed. I was feeling so run down yesterday. Um, I went to bed about 8.30 um, and I slept straight through till three. Then I had to get up. I woke up, head to the bathroom. This is part of the, I think I'm finding a UTI situation. But um, anyway, too much information. So um, then I went back and I was on and off until about 5 and I finally got up at 5.30. So, um, and then I just, oh, you know what I need? I know what I need to do. I need to handle my supplements. I didn't do that. This morning, normally I get them all ready for the next week on Saturday morning, but I just, I just didn't have it in me, guys. I didn't. <laughs> so I feel much better now. I have some more energy than I did. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to go visit Wilson a little bit. I'm just kind of trying to have a lazy day, but do some things. Because if I sit in my chair all day long, I will go crazy. I will feel like I've accomplished absolutely nothing. And that, that's not good for me either. I have to find a, a balance between the two. So that is what's happening. I'm going to get some cranberry juice on my way over to see Wilson. 
I'm telling you, I'm doing all the things. So, yeah, that's that's about it. Bob decided he was going to go run some errands. He wanted to go get propane filled up for the grill. And we have this little, he calls it a pancake propane tank. It's a short squat situation. And um, we use he uses it in his ice shack in the winter. And he uses it in our fireplacey thing that we have you know what I mean it's like a big round thing that fire whatever I can't remember it's it's like a fire but it's not a pit it's a I'll show you guys when we bring it up one two three four five six there are seven days in the week Kristen seven um at any rate he went to get that filled up and then the one for the grill filled up so we would be all set and he wanted to wash up the bolt, but it's just, it's, it's been chilly at night and it's supposed to be a little bit chilly yet for a few days. So he doesn't want to get the power washer out and start it because, you know, you don't want it water freezing in there. So he's going to wait a little bit to do that. But yeah, we just kind of have a nice, easy, breezy day. We're going um, for dinner with Wilson and Mopey, of course. And yeah, that's about, that's about the extent of the day. Tomorrow we have just church grocery shopping. I'm going to make a wacky cake. He had a taste for that, um, which I'll show when I do that. It's a recipe from um, a friend of mine, and he likes white frosting on it, so I will make some white frosting for that. I don't know. That's about it. That's all I have to report. Uh, oh, I need to make some cookies for um, a, a, one of the truck drivers that he sees on a daily basis. So, some peanut butter cookies but other than that not too much going on I thought I might film today but I just you know shoot I should say shoot some makeup videos but um, I just don't have the right energy for that anyway I'm gonna stop whining about the lack of energy finish these and then we go hang out with my friend a little bit and see if that boosts my energy some all right guys it's 1:30. I went and hung out with Wilson a little bit, and uh, Bobby ran his errands, brought the patio stuff up. That's fun. Yeah. Makes it look like it's summer out there. Um, I was just getting the coffee pot put back together. Our ice maker is still not functioning. I need to call Heinz again on Monday. Um, it's making ice. It just won't dispense ice. It refuses to s dispense ice. Um, <laughs> but I wanted to show you guys some organizing that I did. I know a few of you appreciate some good organization. So this is our other refrigerator right here. And it's kind of like the beverage refrigerator. So Bob's been in charge of this refrigerator always. And I just couldn't take it anymore. So I just organized it. I may or may not have a problem. <laughs> I love this stuff so much. This flavor I've not tried yet. Cranberry grapefruit, amazing. Lemon lime, good. Pomegranate, pomegranate acai, really good. Cherry guava, really good. Blood mango, orange, whatever. The, one of the best. My second favorite is the Twisted Elixir, but I'm out of that right now. Anyway... Bob's beer. I don't even ask about that. It, <laughs> okay. It's some kind of a moonshiny something something that um, Mulpey's boss gave him when we went camping in October and none of us drink that kind of stuff. <laughs> there it is. Anyway. And then um, Wilson drinks caffeine free Diet Coke with her captain. And just regular Diet Coke for me, squirt for old fashions. And then we also have some little baby cans of Sprite, ginger ale. These, I like these for camping. These barefoot wine spritzers. So anyway, this is maple syrup, in case you're running. So this is empty. And then these are randoms. He normally has more of these. This is a local bottling place. Actually, the place that bottled Sundrop first before anywhere else. Um, they do this. Um, well, normally, we have Sundrop in here as well, but... He doesn't have any currently, and that's my backup cream. There we go. Just thought I'd show you the, or the organization I did. I should have shown you the before, because the before was watching. 
Oh, so on that note, I'm going to go actually take a nap. I am just still feeling really tired. So I am going to do that, and I'll check in with you guys later. I may or may not make the wacky cake yet. Probably not. Probably not going to happen until tomorrow. Good Sunday morning, everybody. <clears throat> I realized that I said I would show you the wacky cake, the recipe or whatever. And as I was just about to stick it in the oven, I was like, well, I didn't show anybody. So it's 5.56 Sunday morning. We got up about 5. And the Keurig makes a pot of coffee in about 5 minutes. It's awesome. Might have been a little longer, but... Um, so <laughs> we had our coffee, or are having our coffee. We just kind of went to, went to working on our chores. That's why I look like this. I haven't obviously put myself together yet. Um... But anyway, so the Wacky Cake is my friend Ange, her recipe, or her husband's family recipe <clears> that she's written on this random piece of paper, and then she texted to me and I printed it out. So I made this side the 9x9. Nine nine. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can see that, and then I just use a white frosting recipe to go on top of it, but it's back from my... I'm, gonna, I'm pretty sure it's depression age, or a time when you couldn't get eggs and, and that sort of thing, so there's no eggs in this recipe. Um, I'm going to do it for 30. It says 35 to 40, right? Is that what it says? Oh, there's more to the back. Sorry. Screenshot both. Um, but anyway, it says 35 to 40. I'm going to do it for 30 because I'm doing it in a smaller pan. <clears throat> you can see I hand wrote the 9x9 nine nine measurements down the side there. So, I'm going to have that this week, a nice little treat. So I'm going to wash up those dishes and <clears throat> I've been working on the menu. I had a couple of recipes to put away, put away my, these, my recipe binders. And... Yeah, that's about it. We had a really nice dinner out last night. It was, it was a good time. Um, and we always go early. I don't know if I've ever, because I hardly ever vlog later in the day on a Saturday for some reason, but we usually head out to where we go because it gets super busy later. So we head out early, you know, as if we're retired, but we're not. So, <clears throat> but we get there about four and we just sit and chat and... Um, have some cocktails, maybe an appetizer or whatever, um, at the bar, and then um, we generally, so we go out there about 4, <clears throat> I think we generally order about 5.30 or something like that, and then we get home about 7, and that works for us, and we sit here, and the guys have a stogie, and we chit chat, and you know, it's just kind of our routine, and we, we enjoy that. So, this morning we have, Bob was working on his chores, I'm working on laundry, <clears throat> grocery list. And then we're going to go to church, grocery shop, and come home. That's the extent of what I have planned so far for today. I got to tell you, I got yet another email from Delta that they changed our flight again for Cancun, which is in July. Oh, hi there. Oh. I had to make sure he wasn't in his skivvies. Um, <clears throat> and this time they put us on an Airbus. And in the, we're in, in the section that we're in, it's one you know, seat rows. There's one seat, two seats, and then one seat again. And they have me in the middle and Bob in a sing. I don't know. I got to call them and see what's happening. <laughs> they separated us is what I'm trying to say. Not sure why, and I need to find out where they put Wilson and Mulphy as well. So, anyway. I might, uh, I should grab, I bet they wouldn't be too busy if I called right now. I should grab my earphones. Um, but, oh, I know why. I know why I wasn't going to do that, because, I just remember something else I was going to do though, um, or going to grab, what's that in here, uh, because I need to check with Wilson and Mulpey to see what seats they got put in, although, <clears throat> I bet they could just tell me when I call, I have our seats yoked together, or they're supposed to be yoked together, but I need to find out what they, <laughs> what they did to them, so anyway, that's part of the issue when you book ahead of time. You know, but we wanted to book ahead of time so that we would 
have it all handled and all be together. <clears throat> but with things opening back up and more, more flights, fuller flights, that sort of thing, it's kind of, um, you leave yourself open for flight changes and that sort of thing. So anyway, all right, I'm going to go wash up these dishes. I'm not sitting down. I'm going to wash up these dishes and I'll check back in with you guys later. All right, I thought I would do a little check in with you guys. It's uh, quarter after eight. My cake is cooling, awaiting frosting later. I need to put this in the garbage. I um, got both my loads of laundry washed. First one dry and put away. Second one's in the washer. And grocery lace, lace, grocery list is made. Bobby's all ready for church. I'm all ready for church. I did a live. Yeah, that's it. I gotta go grab the checkbook. So I can get right the check for church. And, uh, yeah, we've been very productive this morning, honey. Yeah. Haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it always feels good to get, you know, a good amount of stuff done before we're in a church. So then, go shop, come back, and I'll debone the chicken, and I don't know what all I'll do. I'll share, of course, but... Yeah, so far, super productive. All right, everybody, it's 11-11. Everybody make a wish. Does that work when you're watching and it's 11-11? <laughs> um, pull these out. We got back from grocery shopping, and I am digging into my chores here. But I wanted to show you guys. I got some more. This is one of my favorite ground coffees ever. It's Cameron's Chocolate Caramel Brownie. So we got that. And... Because I have just a little bit left of the Wawa wow wow regular, just a tiny little bit, and a tiny little bit left of the pumpkin spice. So enough maybe to make like a combined pot. And then I do have the Stonewall breakfast that we're going to break into that. Um, but anyway, so I needed some another, uh, some another. I needed some other options. All right, so here's what's going to happen. Um, before I sit down, I need to debone the rotisserie chicken I have here. Got some vegetables I need to cut and prep. Um, I need to make frosting for the little cake. I think, I'm gonna bring, I think, I think we're going to bring half of it down to Heidi, Jamie, and the girls. Um, I want to brown up this Italian sausage and put it in with the spaghetti sauce and put that in the fridge so that the flavors can all start combining together. And I'm going to make the taco soup, get that in the fridge, um, so we're having that tomorrow, but so that can all, the flavors of that can all come together because it's better second day. Um, and I'm supposed to make some peanut butter cookies for that guy at work. I think I talked about that for Bob's buddy, but that we'll, we'll see. <laughs> That's last on the list. Um, and if I still feel like I have enough energy, then I will. But so, and he's out and about doing some chores. He's vacuuming the boat with my Bissell Zing. That he laughed at, and now he sees the point of. Oh, I need a cutting board. Um, and oh, he's going to cut the grass today. First time putting the grass uh, for the year, I mean. And oh, he's got to water the camper pad. So the camper pad last year, I don't know if you guys remember or if you were watching back then. But we had that put in, and we were going to put a retaining wall in. Well, when we had Kyle, our landscaper dude, come over, he was like, I think a retaining wall is not going to look, it's not going to make sense there. He said, I'm just going to come in in the spring and slope it off and plant some seed, and then it'll be better. So he did that Friday. So we just have to, he's got the hay over it that like, has like that tech fire in it. So, um, but we just need to keep it wet because it hasn't rained. So Bob needs to water it. That's about it. And we're both hoping for a nap. All right, you guys. I am tired. <laughs> it is 12.26. The soup is done. It has simmered for its 15 minutes, and I'm just letting it cool before I put it into the fridge. Um, cake is done. Or the icing, whatever. So Bobby will be real happy. Um, cookies are going to have to wait. <laughs> That's, that's where I'm at.
Um, I also did the chicken and I cut up vegetables. It's over here so I can grab them. Cut up vegetables for the week. Um, so, yeah, we had to go there. I'm just going to go put on a sweatshirt or something comfy. And I'm going to sit down for a little bit because I'm real. Good morning, everybody. It is Monday morning. It is 6.20. And I've been up since 4. Um, I did go to bed early because I, well, yeah, I guess I, I was putting my head on the pillow at 8.00. Um, 30, something like that. Um, I don't know when I last vlogged, uh, yesterday, but <clears throat> here's the situation, my friends. I am trying to find a spot to put you on. Oh, I think I normally put you on a lower shelf. That's fine. Um, yeah, I am struggling a little bit with, maybe I have a UTI, maybe I don't. I have some of the symptoms, but not all of the symptoms. The last time I thought I had one, I went in and I went, you know, get, did a sample thing and there wasn't any. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. So yesterday I was cooking along, doing fine, and then all of a sudden I just ran out of gas I think I maybe even, I don't know, I can't remember, like I said, when I vlogged, but I am taking, by the way, I have added in this, D-Manos, and I am adding in cranberry things now, too. Like, I just, <laughs> how many more things can I take in a day? Um, anyway, I just don't know. I don't have a fever. I have taken it over and over again. Um, even though I feel like I have a fever, you guys know what I mean by that, like where you're not achy, but you just kind of don't feel right. And like for me, my eyes just get sore and warm. So anyway, sorry, that's a lot of whining for so early in the morning. Right. Slight pause that I took my supplements. Um, so yeah, I just don't know. I don't know what's going on. That's the long and the short of it. And I don't, I don't know, I'm going to be forced to, I'm going to be forced to email my doctor, mostly because my mom is insistent on it. Um, part of the issue here, let's see, I have to remember how to use this. Let's try 10. Our old Curry had little pictures of... <coughs> <laughs> Excuse me, little pictures of cups, and this one has ounces. So I have to figure out which is which. Anyway, so um, it's kind of like it comes and goes. If I take the Azo, that helps. Um, it doesn't go away completely, but the frequency. Anyway, just more information than you guys ever wanted to know. My apologies. So. Bob's really happy with this cake. The wacky cake that I made for him. Who's happy with that? Um, we had leftovers last night. Tonight we're having the soup that I made. Um, what else? There's something else that's going to play, guys. Mm, I should have used 12. That's okay. Um, what else is going to play, guys? Oh, so anyway, I got up this morning. I woke up at 4. I stayed in bed to try to fall, see if I could fall back asleep. I didn't, so I think I finally got up at 5. And then... Showered, obviously. Get out my opener right away. And... Washed my makeup brushes. Both my travel and my personal. They just needed to get done. I kept putting it off. I was going to do it yesterday. I didn't feel well, like I said. So, I, anyway. The point of it is that I just crashed yesterday and never, never really uncrashed, if that makes any sense. And, and my overnight oats, in case you're wondering. So, the only thing that I did not get accomplished yesterday was making the peanut butter cookies. 
and I think I did vlog about that. So I'm going to try to do that this week. Hopefully today, if I have a chance, we'll see how busy it is. My emails are going off left and right, so I guess I'm making my coffee, heating up my overnight oats, and then we go right in the office. And dig in, catch up from what's happened over the weekend, and it's good. Oh, I'm laughing at how the, I'm laughing at the fact that I already got those. Ha. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna see, see you guys later. Good afternoon, everybody. It's Friday afternoon. I have not picked up the camera since Monday. Um, I'm kind of waiting for, not kind of. I am waiting for. Uh, the guy from Bergstrom to show up to get my check for my car. <sighs> How about that? I have a check here. I think we, I talked a little bit a while back, I'm opening a box, that we were trying to decide um, what we were gonna do. My lease is up, um, and so we decided to buy it. So we bought up my lease, and so keeping my same car. I, it was funny because I was looking at, I feel like I bought the wrong thing. I bought this hair product because Sam Sherman was talking about it. It's called Universal Elixir. But this is not, this is not what I ordered. For sure not what I ordered. Hers was a cream. So either I ordered the wrong thing or they sent the wrong thing. Oh, well, maybe I'll get lucky and it'll be a product I love. <laughs> my life was. Um, that, that was really dramatic. This is just the way No. I probably screwed up. That's what it boils down to. Okay. So if I abruptly leave here, it's because I'm waiting for the I'm waiting for the Bergstrom guy to come and grab my check. I did all the signing pa of paperwork over the the buying it paperwork. Whatever. I did all of that over the phone or over the email i should say not over the phone um okay i looked it up i absolutely bought the wrong product see not them me let's just regroup i just had to look for myself so i and on monday to catch you up last you last you heard from me it was monday and i was digging into work and I emailed the doctor and asked basically what they thought I should do because I can never get into my actual doctor. Well, she happened to have a cancellation. I was able to get in that afternoon. So I'm going to really try to short, shorten this up for you guys. I was able to get in that afternoon. Um, however, I had been drinking water all day long. And so the sample that I gave showed absolutely nothing. But they were going to send it out for, no, lies. Showed absolutely nothing. So she sent me home with a cup to get a sample right away in the morning and bring that in. Okay. So I did that on Tuesday. I just felt like junk this whole time, which is why I actually, sorry, wasn't vlogging. I paused so that I could finish the box crushing without you guys having to listen to it. I just wasn't on Instagram, wasn't wasn't vlogging was doing anything i was basically making sure that bob and i ate <laughs> making sure that he ate really because i didn't feel like it and trying to focus on work because i just felt terrible so we um recycling so she I, <laughs> nobody called me at all on tuesday and from the doctor's office and I could see when my test results came in I could see that all the things that all the things that were elevated and then it basically said yeah you have a UTI but nobody called me so then Tuesday night I barely slept because it, if you've ever had one you know what I'm talking about and here's the thing I was taking azo and azo would kind of curb my symptoms sort of mask my symptoms for about 48 hours and then it would come back like with a vengeance so it happened sunday night it had which i talked about a little bit and then again tuesday night because i had taken it I, sunday late afternoon so it was almost 48 hours later so um i actually came out here to try to sleep 
because I didn't want to keep waking Bob up with me incessantly getting up to go to the bathroom. And, or try to. And I'm really making this longer than it needs to be. So then I ended up calling on Wednesday saying, is, is there any word, like, is it just me? Because at this point, I felt the first symptoms really on Thursday. So on Wednesday when I called, we were six days into a possible infection. That's a long time when they say to be careful with these so it doesn't go into your kidneys, right? So I just called and I was like, you know, can, can, is there anything? So multiple phone calls back and forth, some to me. They finally called me in um, an antibiotic. And, and I don't want to be on an antibiotic unless I have to, don't get me wrong, but um, I clearly needed something. So I am on an antibiotic that is evidently so strong, I have to take a probiotic and, and yogurt is not enough of a probiotic. So I'm also taking a probiotic. Um, interestingly enough, we happen to have some in the fridge because Wilson and Mulpey had gotten both Bob and I a probiotic to start taking before we go to Mexico, preventative measures and all. And we just hadn't started taking it. So thankfully I had some. Um, so yeah, so there you go. <laughs> it's a long, it's a long version. So I am now 48 hours into taking the antibiotic and I'm finally starting to feel like myself again and I have some energy. Um, by the way, it's two o'clock in the afternoon on Friday. Um, we, I am completely caught up with work as much as I can do this week. Um, super thankful about that. I'm traveling to Ohio again on Sunday. That was the other piece to my wanting to get some answers because I needed to start feeling better before I got on the plane again. So, um, the only answer we don't have is why do I keep getting these? You know, I've had three or four in a year and that just seems like a lot. So I have a follow up with her in a few weeks, her being my doctor to talk about that, I guess. I'm not really sure. So that's what's going on. I, I didn't want to just leave you guys hanging and end the vlog back on Monday without some kind of an update. Um, I don't know if I'm going to vlog or not this next week. I, I'm going to, I actually am not going to toss the camera in. If I do vlog, I'll use my phone. I know most, of, not most of you, a lot of you guys prefer the phone because the, the audio is better. It's just a real hassle to film on my phone because you can't flip the camera around. So you have to have like a million clips and it just makes it tricky so but we'll see I just uh I don't know I just don't know what I have to vlog when I when I'm traveling I just at any rate. so the rest of this afternoon I had kind of my, my boss and I had talked I'm kind of taking off sort of so to speak just because um I needed to go help I need to go help Heidi and Jamie or something I knew I had the I was, knew the guy was coming with the check and Anyway, I just had to get myself organized. So I went and got my Walmart pickup order, just a couple things like um, travel contact solution, hairspray, you know. I just didn't feel like going into Walmart. So fortunately, what I needed was enough that I hit the $30 threshold and then some. So, yeah, there you go. You're all caught up in the life and times of Kristen Game. All right, so the guy came. <laughs> There we go. Now the proud, the proud owner of my vehicle I've been driving for um, three years. Oh gosh, three years and then some actually, it was a 39 month lease. Uh, so there you go, you guys are all caught up. Uh, I, like I said, I, I, I just don't know what I'm gonna do as far as vlogging is concerned. Um, we, so we will see what happens with all of that. And probably, I probably just edited out all of my rambling on and on. But we'll see what happens with everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys more than you know. Um, I know that not a, ton, not a ton of you guys comment anymore. But, um, uh, you know, there's a fair amount of you that still watch. And I appreciate that. Um, I like to interact with you. I can't always respond to comments. But I do always read every single comment, just so you guys know. Um, but I'm going to do my best to be responding to every comment here. So if you have any questions or anything, I don't know. I just, I feel like the interaction with you guys, um, because of my doing has not been what I like it to be. So I'm going to do my best to, instead of just heart every comment this time, I'm going to do my best to answer every comment. So leave comments at will. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.